All right, you've clicked on this video. Most likely you are planning a trip to Mexico and you're thinking about staying at the Dream Sands Cancun. The place seems priced very well. Will it be worth your money? Well, the short answer is yes. And uh, stay right here and I'll show you why. Now, here at the beginning, you're, we're at the outside of the resort, you know, heading into the front door. And uh, you can see the doorway into the lobby right there, right up uh, in the distance. All right, we're in the lobby now. This is where you check in. And right across from the lobby, there it is, there's the uh, lobby bar, which is a hub for activity in this resort day and night. And then as you can see, you can see right out into the beach from there. Now all rooms are ocean view. This is the hallway that goes along the back of the resort. This is the view from that hallway, from the, uh, from the, well, from that hallway. And now we're in the room. The rooms are very modern, very clean, not a scratch anywhere, very well kept. And uh, as I said, they all have great views. We're up on the 10th floor here. Now the bathrooms, very nice, and they come equipped with everything you need. Shampoo, conditioner, uh, you will want for nothing. Let you uh, take a look here at uh, what's in the bathroom. Now here's the view from our room. It's quite beautiful as you can see. This place has maybe the best beach in Cancun or amongst the best beaches in Cancun. You can see it's uh, there's not a lot of waves. It's quite calm, and you can go way out there in the deep. Now, uh, the rooms come with blow dryer. It also comes with a cooler that they restock every day. We've already drank some of it. That's why it looks so empty. But uh, they'll, they'll stock all kinds of stuff to drink in there, and, of course, there is a safe. Now, a lot of people are one. Oh, well, to start with this, uh, no wristband. No wristbands in this resort. I've seen in a lot of other reviews, people wondering if there's hot water. Yes, as you can see, there is plenty of hot water. A big question for a lot of people is Wi-Fi. They do have Wi-Fi and it is included. No, you do not pay extra for Wi-Fi. It's just part of the package. And as you can see, I'm on my phone there. It's very fast. Now you go downstairs, there's these uh, monitors that have the daily activities everywhere. And then, of course, now we're walking out on the beach from outside the lobby. And uh, here's a view from the hotel kind of outside to the edge. Lots of nice stuff to do there. There's two pools. This is the quiet pool. And uh, it actually goes quite deep. Here's some more of the beach. And you can see all kinds of, you know, places to hang out and lounge. And, of course, this is the other pool. Now, this pool has got a lot more activity at it. It's got a swim-up bar. And uh, here we are at the beach again. Now, you can see to the left there, that is the grill, outdoor grill. I'm actually sitting in the Barracuda Beach Bar, one of my favorite places there. That is just a bar that's out on the edge of the beach. And uh, it goes till 1 o'clock at night. So... Barracuda Bar, those guys work real hard, and there's every kind of liquor you can imagine. There's a little hot tub, there's my girlfriend having a uh, drink, and uh, it's right there next to the main pool. Now here's the main pool again, you can see the swim up bar, and uh, all the bars are equipped with good alcohol, I mean I'm talking Jack Daniels, Crown Royal. Uh, Johnny Walker Black, we were drinking some good stuff. Now there's the outdoor grill again. Now in the outdoor grill, uh, there's the hot tub again. On the outdoor grill, you uh, you can just wear your bikini to go get something to eat. Here we are at the uh, swim-up bar again. And uh, view from the swim-up bar to, you know, the outside of the pool area. Here's another view from the beach there's some of the activities that you can do wave runners and boats that kind of thing there's the hotel again nice white sand they keep it pretty clean they're out there picking up the seaweed in early in the mornings sometimes you see a little bit there there's my morning jack and coke yeah that's right my morning jack and coke 
I'm sitting in the Barracuda bar and uh, that's my view from where I'm sitting in the bar. Here I am sitting in the Barracuda, Barracuda bar again. Those guys work really hard and they're all great bartenders. And by the second day they had my drink ready for me when I would get there. Sometimes you have some squalls where a rainstorm comes in real hard and it lasts like half an hour. Trust me, with the heat, you welcome it. Anyway, gang, here we are again, a uh, one of the monitors, so you can see the activities during the day. They have activities on the beach, right out on the beach, as you can see, every day. And they do a bunch of stuff around the pool. And uh, they do activities all day and into the night. So here's... Uh, some of the things they do at night, some of the shows they put on every single night. Lots of things to keep you entertained. Here's a shot of the outdoor grill. Like I said, you can wear your bathing suit and be barefoot. And it'll make you hot dogs and uh, hamburgers. And there's potato salad and all kinds of other stuff. Now, this is the buffet. I've been going to Cancun for over 20 years. Probably stayed at, geez, 25, 30 restaurants. Or, I'm sorry, 30 uh, resorts. This is the best buffet I've ever eaten at. I can't begin to tell you how good the food is at this place compared to other similarly priced resorts. And they cook all kinds of stuff fresh for you. There's eggs if you want something in the morning. This is what I had for lunch one day. That's refried, bean, uh, refried beans, uh, fresh made sausage, grilled potatoes. Uh, it looked or it tastes as good as it looked. Now there's a seven, six or seven upscale restaurants in the place, and uh, the thing is this: you're going to have to dress up a little to go to them. Man, you're going to have to wear shoes and collared shirts because they're a little more upscale even than a like a Cheesy Fridays or a Cheesecake Factory. There's Mexican, Italian, uh, Asian, a Mediterranean, and they have international. All the food in all these restaurants was phenomenal, and. Uh, this is uh, from the Asian place. This is well, Asian Grill. This is from the French restaurant. A uh, duck, or I'm sorry, a lack of ram. Lack of, <laughs> rack of lamb. There is some uh, raviolis from the Italian place. Uh, spinach dip. And uh, like a uh, surf and turf we had at the uh, uh, international one. Cheese quesadillas, steak. Food was great. This is clam chowder in bread, and uh, sometimes there's a wait, no problem. They give you a, a little pager there, so you just take your pager and uh, go watch the show, and then it, when it goes off, your table's ready. Now, you need something to do late at night, there is a nightclub, and a full bar, and it goes till 1, but sometimes they stayed open later if it was uh, hopping. And again, here's the lobby bar late at night. This is probably 11 o'clock at night. The lobby bar is hopping and busy all day and all night. One of the things I loved about this resort is towels. You need a towel? Just go get one. The last resort I stayed at, they threatened us or told us that uh, if we lost our card for our towel, it would cost $100. Not here. No cards. You need a towel. You just go grab one. You can even take it to your room. And when you're done with it, they have places for you to just dump the towels in. They do not hassle you for towels. Another thing, water. I've been to many re uh, resorts where it's tough to get water. Not here. They have big buckets of iced water everywhere. And uh, you just go grab some if you need it. As much as you need. Now, um, the uh, guys that try to sell you timeshare, that's them. Didn't bother us a single time. This is some of the outdoor shopping. Uh, the shopping that's right across the street from the resort. You can see it there. There's a liquor shop and pharmacy here and all kinds of shopping and even a place to get your clothes laundered. Right across the street, it costs $7, and that's the laundry, laundry that they give to you. Now, tipping, Thank you, sir. you don't have to tip, but I always do. I throw them a buck for each drink, you know, a buck or two when we sit at the uh, buffet restaurant, and I give them $10 at the fancy restaurants because these guys work hard. I would take, as you can see, I'd take a couple hundred dollars in ones, and then I would just keep ones on me all the time, and I'd take care of these guys, because they work real hard. Now, the place is big on weddings, so virtually every day we saw weddings. Another thing interesting is this 
is a cha TV channel that's in the resort. It's their channel playing this bizarre imagery. I thought you might want to see it. It's <laughs> of course, there's other stuff to watch, but this was on all the time. All right, and another thing I have to say is there's this music that plays throughout the resort all day and all night. When it's real busy, you don't always hear it, but in the bathrooms and in the uh, elevators and late at night especially, like here, this is about 2 in the morning, there's this music that plays. It's so relaxing. I'll, uh, I'll let you listen to it. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, the music is, I don't know, strangely relaxing and it plays all the time. 24-7 throughout the resort. Anyway, that's it. It's well worth the money. The food is amazing. The service is amazing. The people work hard there, keeping it clean. So, uh, you got any other questions? Just leave it in the comments and uh, I'll answer them for you. Alright, so I hope uh, my uh, recommendation is to go. Go to Dream Sands in Cancun. Fantastic resort. All right, see you later.